What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be doing a video over, um, it's kind of a split between why you should farm this and why it's not as bad as you think. I don't really know what I'm going to title it, but, um, it's pretty much over Kushina and Anko, the next two free to play units that are going to, that are out. Um, so yeah, she's going to be coming, Kushina is going to be here next week and, um, Anko is going to be here next week for Global. So starting out, 45 cost, body type. 1200 HP, 1280 um, attack stat as a vast range unit, which is actually really good. Field skill, mobilization, buddy skill, mobilization. Both of those are not that good, but let's keep getting on into it. So, starting off, 1300 attack stat as vast range is really good. Going on her Jutsu and Ultimate, which you're not going to really be using her for this, but you know, 612 chakra, 6.5 uh, times attack and bite damage to one enemy in range. 50% chance of a mobilization for two turns. That's pretty all right. Then ultimate for 12 chakra, 16 times attack and bite damage to one enemy in range. 50% chance of a mobilization for two turns. For one turn, reduce damage taken by 40%. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, uh, going on to her PvP stats, which, I mean, we're not really using it for PvP, right? Uh, but 21,000 HP, 1,700 attack, 299 speed whatever but her abilities this is why you would farm her right this is why you would farm her right okay so restores chakra by one with map movement restores 200 hp a turn restores chakra by one map movement 200 hp one chakra map movement all right so we have another body unit that is healing that i know some people are gonna be in the comments and be like dark skin you done told us about 1700 body units that heal we got enough of them and I get that, all right? Edo Sorcery, got it. Jugo, got it. Blazing Fest Jiraiya, got it. All right, I, I get it, guys. I understand. But this unit is still a good support unit. She immobilizes she, um, on her Jutsu and Ultimate. She can heal. She gets... And then, like, I would say the 612 Chakra is a problem. But the fact that she gets three Chakra max duped with map movement, it makes her Chakra a lot less. Like, it just goes way down. Like, a Nuka Sasuke is like 714, but he gets chakra with map movement, so it's a lot easier to get his Jutsu and ultimate than we, you know, it would have been, right? Then, Sync with Body, restores 75 HP a turn, Sync with Leaf, 75, uh, I mean, 15% chance of dodging an attack, boom. So, I mean, overall, she's not that bad, she's actually pretty good for a free-to-play unit. Uh, like I said, I recommend farming her, at least getting three dupes. Three dupes to get you 200 healing. Now, I know a lot of people... Um, can't farm max dupes, so that's why I say that. But even without max dupes, she's still pretty good. You can get her healing with three dupes, right? So get the floor 100, get two dupes, not that bad. Going on to Anko, Anko is a pretty good emergency mission unit, right? Oh, by the way, if you get her max dupes, she goes under 28 cost. Uh, yeah, but anyways, Anko 60 cost heart type, a thousand HP, 1300 attacks that long range, goes to 1400 with pills, that's pretty good. Field skill, boost attack 90 to 180, really good. Six skill, uh, reduce damage from skill by 25, which is whatever, because you already reduced damage, so boom. Three, six chakra. She's a three, six chakra unit, really good. Three times attack and hard damage to one enemy in range. 50% chance of slip damage and or attack reduction for four turns and knocks them back. Her ultimate jutsu, apparently there's no data on it. Uh, let me actually scroll up or go to Nordax real quick. I'm pretty sure Nordax... Man, never mind. Nordex ain't got it because it's in Japanese. All right. Anyways, oh, wrong person. Anyways, okay. So going on to our PvP stats: fifteen thousand HP, eighteen hundred attack, two hundred seventy-nine speed, which is whatever. But her abilities. This is where it gets good. Boost attack by one hundred and fifty. She now has fifteen hundred fifty attack stat long range. Pretty good. Boost damage to skill by fifteen percent. Really good. Boost rate of status helmet, ten percent. Good. Boost damage to skill, good. Boost rate of status element, good. So now she does thirty percent damage to, um, thirty percent on top of the fifty percent. So she's doing like eighty percent extra to skill units, which is really good because her attack stat is fifteen fifty. Then she has a seventy percent chance of slip damage and or attack reduction for four turns, right? Which is really good. And then I I don't know her ult is, but I'm pretty sure her ult has a status element also. Then sync skill, sync with leaf, reduce slip damage chance, whatever. Sync with ninja lives, reduce attack reduction, whatever. So, um, yeah, as a free to play, as free to play units, these units are actually really good. Um, they're very usable in a lot of different situations. Um, now, obviously, if you're a whale, if you're like a veteran, if you had the game for a year or two, 
like you're probably not going to use these units but for a lot of people that are casual players these two units are actually really good units and i definitely think you guys should farm them so uh anyways with that being said that's gonna be it for this video be sure to give a like subscribe to yourself if you're new comment down below tell us you guys in the comment section below that being said i'll see you guys next time peace